Hello and welcome to another Minimal Godot tutorial. Uh, unlike the previous videos so far in this tutorial, uh, where we started off with a fresh uh, scene each time, we're actually going to build on our last scene because we're just going to make some changes. Last time we created this little script here. I can hit F6 to run this. Again, there's a link in the description to my GitLab page where you can get all the scripts and the assets. But I can use my arrow keys to move my player around here. But that's just the arrow keys. What if I want to use WASD? Right now, they don't do anything. Now, I could say, if this button press, I can give a specific button, or that button, or this you know key, or button, or whatever, uh, but that's not a very good way to do it. Godot gives you a very nice way of doing it. Let's go up to Project Settings here, and the second tab over is Input Map. And here you can see all the default inputs, but you can also create your own input actions. Uh, if we scroll down, you can see here that we have ones for uh, UI left, UI right, UI up, UI down, and you can see that there's in them uh, they each have a key, which is the left key on your keyboard. So the key is for keyboard. We got right. But you also see that they have device zero, which is going to be a game uh, pad or joystick. And you can see that it's saying button 14, which is by default on most key uh, game pads, is going to be left. This one's 15. So we're able to link a bunch of different inputs. Uh, you can create your own. So I can come up here, action, and I can say move up. I can say add. And then down here, it's been added to the list, and I can press this plus button. And I can add in a key from the keyboard, a button from a joystick game controller, or if it has a, um, a uh, directional pad that is pressure sensitive, you have your joystick axes here, or mouse input. I'm going to say key, and I just press a key. So we're doing up, so I'm going to hit my up arrow. I'm going to click OK. But now I'm going to add another one. I'm going to hit key, and I'm going to hit W. So now W, so up and W on the keyboard both work for this. If I go back to my code here, I can come in here and I can say, and it should autocomplete for me when I start typing, we have now in this list move up. I can choose that. I'll hit F6 to run this scene, and you can see I have an error here. Let's go ahead and look at this. It will tell you right down here when there's an error. I forgot when I backspaced, I forgot to put my colon here at the end of my if statement. Okay, so now I'm going to hit F6, and now I should be able to hit up and he moves up, or W and he moves up. Uh, down arrow still works, but we never say anything for S, but I could. But let's go back into this, and instead of making that move up. I'm going to say back to the UI up. Don't forget my colon there. I'm going to go back in here, project settings. And if I want, since I already have that set, at any point I can add keys. So for UI up, I can say add key W. OK. For right, I can say add key D. OK. For left, I can say add key uh, A. OK. And for down, I can say add key S. OK. So now, with our original code here for UI right, UI left, UI down, UI up, um, I can use a game controller, because that was already preset. But if I start the game, I can now use either my down arrow or S. I can use right arrow, arrow or D, A or left arrow, or W, or up arrow. And you can add as many keys or button inputs you want to that. And that keeps your code nice and short. I don't have to say if this key, or that key, or this button, or this mouse. So that is how you uh, can make your own custom input actions. Thanks for watching. Visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Should be a link in the description, as well as a link to the GitLab page where you can get this project. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.